therapy. I don't need therapy. I'm not crazy. Who the fuck is you? You ain't got a shout out from the CIA. You ain't got a, a, a priceless library. You ain't built a university. You're not undefeated in debates, motherfucker. You're not me. You're not Young Pharaoh. You feel me? You ain't been giving out black nutrition facts all these years. I'm not crazy. I'm hard bro. Now, let me say this, right? Let me be honest with you. I've been being dogged by black women and and, 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 and and heckled and trolled by black men all my life. Black they've been black men have been jealous of me and black women have been mean to me all my life. I I cannot I'm be honest with you, look me in my eye. I'll move the cap up. I cannot name to you one black woman right now that I genuinely, 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 genuinely remember in my life that I could say was nice to me and that I liked. I had a second grade teacher named Miss Shammy. And she was cool, but even she was mean. And I'm like, why the fuck is y'all so mean to us? You know what I'm saying? My mother, from, I'm 28 years old. I'm 28 years old. And I've been mistreated by black women so bad in my life that a good woman has come into my life. Two good women have come into my life. And, 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 I was, I didn't even realize, I didn't even know how to fucking interact with them to a certain extent because I was so used to being mistreated that when somebody was treating me right, I thought they was trying to get, I thought it was a setup or something. And then I came across these teachings, you know what I'm saying? Or I, I was studying, I came across some teachings that changed my perspective on my mother, about my father, but I never seeing my father really was right. My father was right. And let me say this, my mother used to tell me all kind of shit as a kid. She didn't love me, she hate me. She glad that I don't live with her. She wish I wasn't her kid. My mother used to say some of the most fucked up shit you could say to me when I was a kid. I was probably like five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 like probably eight, nine. No, no, probably like seven, eight, nine, ten, somewhere around there. My mother used to say crazy ass shit to me. And then I'm like, you know, everybody always told me my mother was crazy. But I'm like, bitch, you wasn't crazy because schizophrenia don't exist. You wasn't crazy. You just did. You just probably didn't like my dad and was dogging me out behind the scenes. But I used to hate going to visit my mom. I remember my family used to try to make me go visit my mom. I used to hate it. I used to never want to go over there because she used to treat us so fucking bad, my nigga. My mother used to treat us dog us. My mother treated me so fucking bad that with everything I went through, the white man don't even compare. <laughs> everything I went through with the white man don't even compare. And I fought with the white man in the court. I never really fought with him on the street. And to the most part, for the most part, the shit I did get into it with the white man about you feel me? Right or wrong, I was in the street. I shouldn't have been in the street anyway. Where the fuck was my parents at? I shouldn't have been in the street anyway. So if you get a 911 call that it's a nigga out here running around with a big ass chopper, you're not gonna, you don't, you're not gonna sit there and ask me my life story. <laughs> you just gonna respond. So yes, I was in the street terrorizing the fucking town, but I was surviving. But, but my thing, I'm not making no excuse for the shit I went through, but motherfucking you're not going to do your, your, your background research normally on a life story of, a, of what you perceive to be a criminal. You're just going to come to do your job, so to speak. So a lot of the shit I got into it with the white man with, I didn't ever expect that motherfucker to ask me my life story. And if he did, somebody probably lied on my damn record. But I said to say this, I was never treated right by black women my whole life. Never. I was never treated right. My mother dogged the fuck out of me when I was a kid to the point where I didn't even want to go to this bitch house. Then, excuse me, I didn't want to go to this woman's house. Then, all of my family dogged me out, hid me from my father. My father used to, it's only one woman I would say that genuinely loved me, but she was scary. That was my Auntie Val. But outside of her, you feel me, I had a great life at her house. My Auntie Val, I'm not going to lie, my Auntie Val, I had a beautiful life at her house. Her and my stepdad, Will, I loved them the most. I loved living with them the most out of my whole life, you feel me? And I had love for my cousin Marlon, who I thought was my brother. But... He did some fuck shit when I was a teenager. Nigga snuffed me, then called the police on me. That's how I called my first child. And I'm mad at him about that. I'm mad at him about that. But I got love for him, though. But I'm mad at him about that. That was some fuck ass shit. But outside of that, wow. Ever since I left from living with my Auntie Val, my life became a living hell. At my grandma house, I hated I hated being at my grandma house besides being with my cousin. I hated it. I hated it. Aunties used to buy my cousin's freezies, wouldn't buy me one. Let all my cousins play with my cousin game, don't let me play. Little faggot ass shit. Then when I went to move with my aunt, okay, another aunt, she was cool, she was alright, but she used to do little shit like, unbeknownst to me, I know now, I didn't know then, you feel what I'm saying? But my dad, you know what I mean, wanted, I, I don't know if he took me to court to see me or whatever the case may be, but he's sending me child support money, I'm not even getting that shit. 
He's sending me money. I'm not even. He's sending me shit. I'm not even getting that shit. I don't even know. I, in my mind, I'm thinking my dad not even checking for me, and he checking for me. Motherfucking, not even calling us family. Calling us the boys. Like we your nephews. Why the fuck is you calling us the fucking boys? Making us feel like outsiders. Letting her, letting her kids just try to dog us out. You know what I'm saying? Just letting her kids try to dog us the fuck out. Just letting her kids just wild on our shit. You feel me? I got a cousin I'm not gonna name. He doing all kind of faggot ass shit. You feel me? All kind of faggot ass shit just violating us. You feel me? Doing all kind of bullshit. And, and just letting her kids just do what they want to do. You feel me? Buying them everything but not buying us shit really. Barely. But they can go to the mall and spend two, three thousand dollars and we got to go to a bullshit store to get clothes. You feel me? Just all kind of bullshit they used to do to us. You feel me? My aunt used to do to us. Treating, treating people better than us. Then kicked me out when I was a kid. Then I went to my grandma's house. Then she told my grandma not to let me stay there. Her and my grandma kicked me out. I'm like, Grandma, how you gonna kick me out? I'm a 14, 15 year old, 13 year old, however I was. However old I was, I'm a kid. How the fuck you gonna kick me out, but you gonna let this grown ass 40 something year old bitch stay here with her kid? And he, they both grown as hell, not paying no rent. They can stay here, but you gonna kick a kid out. And that's how I got on the street. And that's how I ended up on the street. Cause black women dogged me all my life. Then I had another aunt that was my aunt through marriage. Well, one of my cousins, I'm not going to name, and then she kicked me out. And why did she kick me out? Because she left the kids in the house one day and didn't tell me. And I guess she expected me to watch them, but I didn't know. Because I used to hustle, sell my weed, and come in the house, and then get up in the morning and go to school. Because I was still trying to get my education. I always tried to get my education. And even my principal who kicked me out of school, they would tell you, they used to ask me, like, yo, where's your family at? And I used to be like, I don't want to talk about my personal life. And I used to come to school every day, going through shit at home, but I still came to school every day to do my work because I value my education. Now I said to say this, boom, I, I was getting up every day going to school. Same person who my cousin snuffed me and then called 911. Same person, I was living there when that shit happened. Now peep game, bow. She, I don't know where she went. She left somewhere one day, I got up, I went to school. I didn't go to the, I went to school. Came back, got cussed out, got kicked out because the kids was in the house, and I didn't watch them. But I'm like, I didn't know the kids was in the house. I didn't know it was my job to watch them. You didn't even tell me they was in the house. And I don't go in your room. So was I supposed to go in your room and, and, and check to see if it was your kids in the house that I was supposed to watch? No. So, the, boom, I bow. Now I'm really on the street. And that's how I really got in these streets as a kid. Getting kicked out the house by black women. And being dogged by black women. And every relationship I ever got in, all my, all my women cheated on me when I treated them right. It's not one black woman I've ever been with that could say I mistreated them. Not one. My first love, I got her name tatted. She was cheating. You feel me? She was cheating. Um, relationship after that, I had another female I was talking to, a light-skinned female. No, another chick I was talking to. I was fucking with her, but she, she, she ran away from this group home. I'm not going to name it. She ran away from this group home. Never told me. I'm fucking with her, rocking with her. Then she just disappeared. I'm thinking somebody then human trafficked her or something. She gone for two weeks. I'm in the motherfucking, I'm in the mother, I'm hustling one day. Boom, I get a call from her people. She like, oh, such and such wanted me to call you and tell you that she ran away from this group home. She had a warrant. And I guess she got jumped. So when she went to the hospital, they grabbed her on a warrant. Now when they grabbed her on a warrant, you feel me? When they grabbed her on a warrant, goddamn, uh... I wasn't even cheating, I was hustling, my nigga would tell you, my old right hand man would tell you because we used to argue all the time because niggas was trying to play me like I was like I was simping, but I'm like nigga, I'm just being loyal to my bitch, nigga, fuck is you talking about? So, I'd be on the Bluetooth, hitting licks, talking to my bitch while she locked up, or while she in the joint, but I was holding her down, I was holding her down, and then I stopped fucking with her because I caught a little bed, a little 90 day bed, and she in there, it was another nigga in there, she writing me and him at the same time saying one thing to me and saying another thing to him. So I stopped fucking with her. Then I got another relationship. No, then I ran into my son, mom. Boom. My son, no, no, then I ran into another chick, a college chick. She, she tried to dog me out, talking about I'm, a, I'm not gonna never be shit more than the streets and I'm gonna die in these streets and I'm not shit. And she cheating on me with her ex, wow. Then I ran into another chick who was my son, mom. I ran into my son, mom. And then my son, mom, we was best friends. And then, uh, what you call it? We was best friends. Then I started talking to, then, you know what I mean? She just was, I don't know, like she was a good girl. You know what I'm saying? She was a good girl. I'm not going to knock her. We was best friends. Then I started talking to this little light-skinned joint, right? I'm not going to name her. I started talking to this light-skinned joint. 
and we was cool, we was rocking. I was fucking with her. I'm not gonna lie, we was rocking. I didn't get no indications of her doing no bullshit. Me and her stopped fucking with each other because when I went to jail, she, she got pregnant by a nigga. I told her that that was an op. Now, she said the nigga lied and said he was a blood from out of town. Now, whether the nigga really was a blood from out of town, I don't know. But I'm like, nigga, to my, my, to my knowledge, nigga, you wasn't no blood from out of town. No disrespect, nigga, you was from Bailey. <laughs> Period. I'ma just say that. You wasn't no blood from out of town. Now, if he turned blood, I don't know. But to my knowledge, nigga, you was from Bailey. Now, bow. That's how me and her fell out. Boom. She got pregnant on me by the op. Okay. Bow. Then after that, I get out of jail. No, like 10 months before I get out of jail, my baby mom come back in my life. My baby mom's still my friend. Then we start dating. Bow. My baby mom, I tell her, eat healthy, cook, eat healthy, work out, read, etc. My baby mom, on acting like she going to the gym, she cheating on me with her ex around the corner. Boom. Then I start talking to Yogini. Another, another a queen y'all see me fucking with. I was fucking with Yogini, you feel me? Me and Yogini did end up not working because she said she didn't want to deal with Golden. All right, I'm not going to go into that, but I'm going to leave that there. Now, bow. Now, from that point on, y'all see I'm dealing with Golden. And... From this point on with Golden, I'm like, damn, shorty. Like, damn, like. I don't even know if she really give a fuck about me at this point. I don't even know if she really loved me at this point. Tell me too many mind games. Like, I had love for Golden. I loved her. I wanted to be with her. I never not playing, you feel me? Like, I, I, I let her pick this house. I didn't want to be here. No disrespect to Texas, I didn't want to be here. I wanted to be in Hawaii. I, w I plan on going to Hawaii. I let Golden pick this house. My fucking kids' bounce house is over there. They got a big ass bounce house. Like, all, like I, I let her pick this shit. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, my mind, like, she didn't play so many games with my feelings in my mind that I don't even know what's real. I didn't, for a minute, I ain't gonna say I don't. For a minute, I didn't even know what's real. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know what a real. I didn't even know what's real. I didn't even know what real genuine affection and. Interest from a woman was because women have played so many games with my mind and I feel so bad because Now I got a woman I'm dealing with I'm not gonna name her. I got a woman I'm dealing with and I feel like She's so solid and she's so authentic and she's so Pouring into me which I've never had you know what I'm saying mind you like I said when I was with Golden I had on $16,000 a month life insurance I gave her seven eight bands for her school paid the tuition out gave her another seven grand for her her business, gave her another 10K for her business, tried to teach her the business, and gave her a fan base, gave her a brand, made her a logo, bought her a new car, she didn't have a license yet. For the five years we was together, she didn't have a license. I chauffeured her around, took her to get groceries every month. I protected her with my life these whole five years while doing what I did. Gave two home births, that's doctor level shit. Two home births, one here, one in Buffalo. Paid for all of that. I got paid for everything. Everything go like go to have my debit card. She have to ask me. She just was ordering shit. She have to ask me because she spent money. Like that was my bitch. Like when I'm in a relationship, I I take care of my bitch. I spoil my bitch. Y'all niggas can say whatever the fuck y'all want to say. That's y'all. I don't treat my women bad. I don't treat my women bad. Martina didn't get ten percent of what Golden got. She didn't get ten percent of it. But you see how I treated Martina. Now, whatever y'all can say whatever. Like I said. Y'all can say whatever. But y'all see how I treated my teeth. I don't treat my women bad, son. I don't treat my women bad when, when, when I'm really fucking with them. And we'll be really in a relationship. Now, I said to say this. That shit crazy. Like, but I got a real one in my life right now. I got a real one in my life right now that I'm fucking with. That I'm fucking with her. That I'm fucking with. I'm going to just say that. Or that I'm trying to fuck with. I'm seeing what's up. And so, y'all you know I mean, it's... it's it's crazy, I just wanna say this, I ain't never been treated right by a black woman in my life. I've been treated way better by white people. Despite being done dirty in court, I've been treated way better by white people. All my white teachers treated me nice. I didn't. I don't have no white teachers that I didn't like except for one in, th in, in high school. Miss motherfucking Mass Yellow, I didn't like her. She used to always try to, try to send me out to class and try to do me dirty or play me. But she was, I, I mean, she went, whatever. Like, but outside of that, I've been way tre treated way better than I, I, black men have heckled me. Black men have heckled me and trolled me and tried to dog me my whole life. Calling my parole officer. This nigga, Brother Polite, called my parole officer and lied and said that I was showing t pornography of his 10 year old daughter. I never even met him or his 10 year old daughter in person. Never even ran into him. And then had a bitch named Dr. Mayat 
press charges on me and lied, said I was going to kill her and, her and throw her son off a cliff. I never said that. Black people have been playing on my freedom and trying to get me locked up this whole time. And my parole officer, Ms. Filipski, I fuck with Ms. Filipski. And when I run this bag up, I'm sending her, I'm, I'm going to have a private investigator find her, and I'm sending her a check. I don't go fuck what you say. Ms. Ms. Filipski and Wisniewski, I fuck with them. They didn't lock me up. They didn't lock me up. They, they held me down. Because they seen I was trying to do something positive with my life. I've been treated way better by the damn police than I've been treated by black people on the street. And that's a fact. I've been back here with the white man the whole goddamn time. And I got into it with a couple of sergeants, but that's because they weren't trying to let me go to the goddamn law library. So Y'all know how that shit be. A couple of sergeants let me out the box early. COD. I mean, you know, dear. I've been back here with the white man the whole... Sylvester, man. I love Sylvester. That was my nigga. Sylvester was my nigga. Sylvester was my nigga. Hold on, y'all. I'm grabbing my, I'm grabbing my flag. I'm grabbing my old flag. I'm grabbing my old flag. I've been put this motherfucker down. Because niggas betrayed me. Because niggas betrayed me. I nation. If it ain't I nation, I don't give a fuck about it. Here it go right here. Look. Trade me. Trade me. Show you right now. Show you. Betray me. Betray me. It's right here. Betrayed me. A white man made it for me. Take it outside. Betrayed me. Hmm. Betrayed me. I don't fuck with him. Fuck him. Betrayed me. They fucking betrayed me. And they never responded when I called them. They ain't give a fuck about me. And I went to New York, and they still never responded. Fuck them niggas. Fuck with none of them niggas. Let me bring it to the light. Betrayed me. Look. In the name, in the name of Pharaoh, hold on. In the name of Pharaoh Allah, 10414. 10 4, 14. And I don't believe in Islam. At the time, Allah to me still for arm, leg, leg, arm, head. God body. Betrayed me. Betrayed me. They betrayed me. Betrayed me. The fuck out of me. Betrayed me. 10-4-14, that's the date. Today is 2021. I've been doing this since I was 15. I got these pyramids on me at 15 years old. <sighs> Fuck out of here. You can ask, ask BJ. Ask BJ from Buffalo. Ask Benny Hardy. <sighs> he met me at 15 years old. He'll tell you, at 15 years old, I've been to Pharaoh. He'll tell you, <sighs> I've been drawing pyramids and all that. I'm 28 years old. I've been doing this shit my whole life. My whole life, my whole life. Go watch, go listen to any of my younger music, my younger mixtapes, Young Pharaoh. All my old shit is on there. I got a mixtape on, on YouTube niggas don't even know about. It's called The Prophet. Okay, so to the people who still taking up for him and following him and, you know, riding, you know, his coattail or whatnot, this is a message for you guys, yeah. Yeah, this is this who he, he, this, he, he telling you pretty much he don't appreciate shit you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's saying, fuck you. Yeah. He pretty much just saying, fuck you. He ain't acknowledging you. He not even bringing you up to say, hey, y'all was the ones who, you know what I'm saying, got me to everybody who know who Young Pharaoh was. You know what I'm saying? The supporters who supported me and, you know, the whole Young Pharaoh, uh, 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 what can we say? I wouldn't say character, but the whole, uh, Young Pharaoh, um, uh, brand he didn't build that himself he can't build that himself he, he became who he was because of y'all because y'all was the one the motherfuckers who was following him and worshiping him and you know what i'm saying throwing you know what i'm saying like y'all like y'all his biggest fans and shit y'all was the ones who made him who he was and then he got the audacity to get on here on a saturday motherfucking morning get on camera 
and give the motherfucking white man the credit. What? But y'all want to be all up in my motherfucking comments? Talking about why am I kicking him down? He down, he this, he gonna do that, and he cool, he gonna get back this, and y'all wrong, and y'all this, y'all that, and he this and that. Oh, that's the thanks y'all get? That's the motherfucking thanks y'all get. That's fucked up. Damn, that's a that's a slap in the face. Mmm. That nigga, he is who he is because of y'all, because of the black community and whoever listened to his motherfucking ass. He wouldn't be who he is or known at all if y'all motherfuckers didn't show him the attention that he was getting. He wouldn't be who the fuck he is if y'all wasn't the ones going to his motherfucking lectures. He wouldn't be who he is if y'all wasn't the motherfuckers who over there paying that $25 a month for his Otten University. He wasn't who he is. He ain't who he is if it wasn't for y'all. And all he do is get on here and blame shit on the motherfucking black community? Huh? Nah. You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Then the nigga sitting here talking about pretty much. I mean, like all the shit y'all did for all those years for him. Did he never bring that up? And then he blames his personal life. His mama, his family. On the black community. Sound like his motherfucking own family dogged him out to me. He need to keep that shit in that motherfucking circle. And always pull me, 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 me. Shit sound like his family did him dirty and wrong to me. Yeah. Yeah. Them the motherfuckers who, who, who did him really wrong. How the fuck did the black community do you wrong and they? What? We didn't kick your ass out. We didn't kick you out. The black community wasn't the motherfuckers who, uh... Who sent you to jail and violated you? The black community wasn't the ones who was, who was telling you wasn't going to be shit when you was younger. Who was being mean to you. Who was buying all the other kids goddamn toys and not you toys. The black community wasn't the one who fucking uh, put a gun in your head and made your motherfucking ass go to jail because you was out there. Then the nigga even further with the disrespect, he even tells the story of how he went to jail. And then he says, taking up for the white man. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't have been out there doing what the fuck I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so what do I expect? Like they, they was going to give me anyway. My white man, the cops, they got to do what they got to do. I mean, like they don't know who I am. They don't know my life story. You know, I had to do what I had to do because my family. And then, you know, and he's still giving them things. Well, they had to do what they had to do. Well, damn. What? Mm. What? Let's get it. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm, him. What? Fuck y'all. Mm -hmm. He said, fuck y'all. He said, the white man, the only one who ain't never did him wrong. Shit, it seemed like y'all, the black community who was uh, who had his back and shit, rhyme with him. Young Pharaoh, young Pharaoh. All the way up to the motherfucking 100,000, 100, 200,000 subscribers and shit. Nigga getting motherfucking cash apps out of this world. This nigga buying cars. Yellow getting a painted custom. He, this nigga got the house. This nigga walking around with all the chains. This nigga walking around black power. What? Huh? White man ain't never did nothing to me, but the black community did. Oh, yeah, he said that. Mm -hmm. Did you hear him? You need to go and listen to it again. Yeah, he said that. Huh. Huh, what you got to say about that? Yeah, what you got to say about that in the comments? Don't be trying to just read and look at the comments and then be just sitting there lurking and shit and not saying nothing now, motherfucker. I want to know what you got to say now after you heard it from his motherfucking mouth, how he feel about you. No motherfucking appreciation to you motherfuckers for sitting here putting him in this situation. Uh, he wouldn't, like I say, be no motherfucking young pharaoh if it wasn't for y'all. He wouldn't be young pharaoh. The white man didn't make young pharaoh. Huh? 
That nigga going around talking about the white man is the main one who fucking got the child trafficking going on. The white man is the main one behind the organizations of the sex trafficking and the molesting the kids and is kidnapping the kids and them the professionals doing the kids. He, he, he don't say the black people did that with that. No, he say the white people. He make that be known all the time, even up to today. Mm-hmm. Oh, but now he want to be with the white man? And he said the white man ain't never did nothing to him. Hmm. Hmm. Them motherfucking white men wasn't in his motherfucking... Uh, them white people wasn't in there when he was uh, giving all them motherfucking lectures. There wasn't majority of white people over there up in his audience while he on YouTube talking his big shit. You know what I'm saying? Them white people ain't no damn white people majority over there in his motherfucking Otten army or whatever the fuck he got up over there. Huh? No, who is it? Who is it? Huh? Who is it? I don't need everybody raising their hand one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. We don't need everybody raising their hand. We only need one answer, one answer. Huh? Who? The black community, huh? Yeah. Yeah. This nigga don't give y'all motherfuckers no credit, thanks, or gratitude for shit. And you got the motherfucking nerd to come in my motherfucking comments and ask me why the fuck am I talking about him? I'm going to start talking about y'all sorry ass motherfuckers. That's the thanks you get when you created this nigga. You created this selfish ass bastard. Yeah. And now that he's being exposed for just that, you got the motherfucking nerd to come in my motherfucking comments. Oh, no. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck you. Y'all got to be. Y'all got to be kidding me. I'm listening to this shit like... I'm waiting for him to say, well, you know, once I got out of jail. Because when he got out of jail, that's when he started to do the black community, this, that, black power, you know, the white people, this and that. And they need to give us our money. And they need to be... If they want me to be their friend. Oh, yeah. Go check my video out that I did about um, when he was on there talking his big shit about the white person. And if you want to be my motherfucking friend, then you're going to have to give me what you owe me. How would you like it if you, I was going down the street? I went to go steal some candy and I brought it back. And then I told you I stole it from them. What your mama going to do? She going to tell you to go walk down the street and give it back. Um, but yeah the white man need to do the same thing talking about all oh, this and that yeah you only my friend when i'm talking about this and that or whatever when you agree with me but other than that you not my friend you need to go on and give me my talking this big shit about to the white people when he was all black community up with you motherfuckers ah and this nigga get on here look the the the, the disrespect the blank just and y'all just fuck y'all yeah that nigga like, fuck y'all. And you got the nerve to get on here and be talking about I'm the one who bringing out the motherfucking black community? Is you fucking serious? This nigga on here spitting in your motherfucking face after all the shit y'all did for this stupid motherfucker and riding for him. And even still today trying to be like, you know what? Don't um do this with him. You know what I'm saying? He cool. You know, um he gonna get all right. And you know what I'm saying? He under MK Ultra and all this other shit. And you know, they got the remote control and they, you know what I'm saying? They press the enter and pausing them and, and then they starting them, pausing them and all this other bullshit. Y'all still ride with the nigga and he get on here and don't give you no credit. What's so motherfucking ever? How that feel? Huh? Do that feel good? Tell me how it feel in the comments, please. Do that feel real good to you? Hmm? Huh, you motherfucking YP followers? You motherfucking YP dick riders? Do it feel good that he didn't even give you no motherfucking credit? Because he's so fucking always, he's just so motherfucking selfish. The nigga's just always poor me, 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 me. Yeah, that's who the fuck y'all created. Yeah, so y'all shouldn't feel bad about that shit. Yeah, because that's who y'all fucking created. Yeah. Worshipping this nigga, telling him he God, he Pharaoh. Yeah, you the man. Yeah, yeah, come on. He calling in yesterday. Everybody call in and tell me how I saved the motherfucking, uh, tell me how I saved the world and all this other shit. Y'all call in, tell me how I saved the world. Damn, he could have at least gave the motherfuckers who called in the black motherfuckers because it wasn't no white motherfuckers. Why he didn't give y'all the credit at least, huh? Yeah. 
Are y'all sitting there calling 17, probably 1700 times to get through just to say some bullshit that he don't give a fuck about just because he need that fix because he needs somebody to lift him up because he fucking got low self-esteem and don't know how to deal with it and don't know how to lift himself up because the nigga never has esteem in the beginning and everything he had, he need materialistic shit in other people to lift the nigga up. So now that that's gone, what's left? Nothing. Because the nigga never tried to raise his self-esteem without shit. He never stood on any motherfucking thing he didn't have no morals he didn't have no motherfucking principles about himself he's still immature nigga ain't got no good characteristics about him never bear no good fruits coming from his motherfucking ass and now you're getting to see the bare fucking uh real bare ass person he is because now the nigga naked and now he ain't got nowhere to hide and now we seeing the nigga for who he really is and you dumb motherfucker still on here talking about why i'm talking about him and he gonna get all right and he's still the king and do I know what he did then? And do I? And y'all writing big for this nigga. Yeah, you know what he did then? He was the one who did this and that. And he was the one who this and that. Well, goddamn, why he didn't get on here and say that today? Huh? Come on now. I want you to write that in the motherfucking comments. Yeah, you always got big shit to talk about. Come on and get in them comments today. Yeah, this strictly for you motherfuckers. What you got to say now, huh? Yeah, huh? That nigga said, fuck you. Huh? The white man ain't never did nothing for me. Huh? Huh? What you got to say to his ass? Did I ever say that about your motherfucking dumb ass? You stupid motherfucker. I should say that to your dumb ass, your black ignorant asses. That nigga said, fuck y'all. Damn. Ain't that about a bitch? What? After all y'all fucking did damn i'm glad he fucking said the. I, i'm glad he did this shit i was like i'm let me get this shit this nigga probably gonna take this shit down damn y'all huh leave him alone he used to do this he did that he was doing this he always that he gonna be this he gonna be that hmm he gonna be that he did this? Hmm. Nigga don't give you no thanks. I just want to thank y'all because y'all are the ones who made me. He taking all the credit himself. That nigga walking around taking all the credit himself right in front of your motherfucking face. Not even just today, just period. Nigga never give y'all motherfuckers no appreciation. Thanks for shit. Nigga always sitting there feeling sorry for himself. Always want to talk about. He always want to have this oh poor me, me, me motherfucking party and shit. Yeah. Nobody want to come to that party. Nigga, you going to have that party by your motherfucking self. Yep. Yeah, y'all may go. Y'all may go, go on and party with him with that shit. Because y'all always do. Y'all always do with y'all worthless asses. Yeah. He ain't never gave y'all no thanks. No shout outs. Ever. Now that I think about it. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Yeah, nigga ain't never gave y'all. Cause look, he take all the credit for it. Yeah, I did this by myself. He say this in front of y'all face. Oh yeah, he let that be known. He don't whisper that shit now. I did that. He say like he a man too. Shit, I did this by myself. I'm the one who did all the shit and did it all the shit for free for the black community. And y'all stupid motherfuckers who's worshiping him ain't got nothing to say about that. Knowing goddamn well he didn't do that shit for free. You stupid motherfuckers. Huh? Huh? But you bring your dumb ass up in my motherfucking comments? No, you need to go hit up his motherfucking comments. With y'all weak asses. Y'all some weak motherfuckers. Just like his ass. That's why y'all was following him. Birds of a motherfucking feather flock to fucking gather. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Stupid asses. That's fucked up. This nigga... <laughs> This nigga, I, wow, y'all, like, and this the part right now where I'm talking to the people who agree with me. I'm more on that page. Fuck y'all, we put y'all to the side. Boop, y'all gonna stay right there. We'll be right back with you. But y'all, did y'all hear this shit? And the nigga can't get help at all, and he won't get no help, because he think he know every motherfucking thing. He don't think nothing wrong with him. 
You think he about to go talk to a motherfucking therapist? He think he a motherfucking therapist. What? Yeah. He a therapist. He a teacher. He a motherfucking president. He an army. He's a general. This nigga uh, fucking is a truck driver. This nigga is a banker. This nigga is an actress. This nigga a rap. This nigga all everything you can be when it comes to a motherfucking job. This nigga all that. So you think he finna go listen to somebody else? Yeah, and y'all, let me go back to them. While y'all, I'm going to leave the ones who agree with me. I'll be right back with y'all. Let me go on over here to these stupid motherfuckers who waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sitting there waiting for... He's sitting there fucking waiting waiting for you dumb stupid dumb ass motherfuckers i'm sitting here dancing and shit because y'all some stupid motherfuckers this who y'all created he blamed y'all he said fuck y'all i taught you this shit it ain't no gratitude it's more of a yeah i'm the one who did this for you I'm the one who did that for you. Yeah. Fuck y'all. I'm the one who did this. If it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't be this. If it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't be that. It ain't no coming from no humble place of all my gratitude is to you guys for who were there for me. You guys are who I'm grateful for because I never wouldn't have been able to do th the things that I did. If y'all didn't come out to even support me, how the fuck you going to be young Pharaoh if no one supported you or even uplifted you to be that? You can't be that by yourself, but he think he is. Right in front of your face. Right in front of your face. Just disrespect, spit right on you. I mean, he spit on you where he did the throat spit. Loogie spit. Yeah, mm -hmm. nasty like that. Yeah, that's how that shit. That's I was listening to him. That's how that shit. That shit like had my face like nasty. Like if you see somebody who just did a loogie spit, that's how my face was. I was like, what the fuck? You got to be kidding me. After these motherfuckers is out here riding hard for you, yeah, yeah. They out here riding harder than he riding for his motherfucking self. They still trying to hold his ass up. And this nigga just weak. They, he so heavy to them now. This nigga just letting go. He just weak. He just weak. Now he want a motherfucker to just go on and carry him and shit. No, a nigga limp at least, you bitch. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, nigga, then I'm not finna help you. At least limp, nigga. Yeah. Because you gonna make me fall, nigga, trying to help your motherfucking dead weight ass. At least try to limp, do something to help me along the motherfucking way. He ain't even trying to do that. Nigga just dead weight want you to carry his motherfucking ass. Yeah, y'all come tell me about my, um, about what I did for y'all. Y'all come tell me what you think about how I saved the world. Yeah, y'all come tell me yesterday, 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 he just said it, y'all. Y'all come tell me, yeah, 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 y'all come tell me what I did, yeah. Y'all come tell me, y'all dumbass, you did this, man, you did that, man, you, yeah, you did that, yeah, man, you always a be number one, yeah, 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 you did this, you did that, yeah, yeah, he's, he's sitting there smiling shit like, yeah, you can see his ass get that, he like, yeah, he loving that shit, he like, oh, yeah, yeah. Then this morning, he get up and say, fuck you. The white man ain't never did nothing to me. It's you black community motherfuckers. And he make it clear too. Yeah, he say the black community. He talking about y'all motherfuckers. Because he sure ain't talking about nobody. Who he talking about? He talking about the black community. Y'all the motherfuckers walking around talking about black community this, black community that, conscious this, conscious that bullshit. I ain't never been into that shit. Ain't never. Yeah, he talking about y'all motherfuckers. Because at least it could just be like some of the black people, majority of the black people, but black community be specific like that. Oh, yeah, he talking to you motherfuckers. And y'all don't even get it with y'all slow asses. Y'all don't even catch it. Well, guess what? That's why I'm here. I'm here to say, better catch that shit. Come on, snap out of it. Pay attention. Be alert. Be alert. I got a thing for you, huh? I got to snap you in this shit. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now you go take your sorry ass over there and you gonna give him a piece of your motherfucking mind. Cause that's the thanks he give you motherfuckers. And y'all ain't got nothing to say. And if you don't got nothing to say, mm -mm, what I wanted to say after that, I can't say it. But what I will say is if you don't have nothing to say about that, 
Hmm. Well, let me say it this way. If you don't stand for nothing, hmm, you know the rest.